Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. So today we'll solve another problem based on general force systems. So here is the question and this is the diagram. So according to the question, we have to find the resultant force and uh, find the direction and magnitude for that resultant force here. So we'll start with the solving part. So First, what we have to do is, we have to see if all the forces are resolved. So this force is in the vertical direction, vertical, horizontal, but this force is at an angle of 60 degrees. So I'll just resolve this force. So this is an inward force. So we'll also resolve it in the inward direction. So this force is adjacent to the angle, so this would be 500 cos 60 degrees and this is opposite so it would be 500 sin 60 degrees. Now all the forces are resolved here so let us start with the solving. So our first step here is to find f of x. So f of x is equal to all the forces in x direction. So here I have this force that is 500 cos 60 in the x direction and I have 700 in the x direction. So 500 cos 60 is in the positive direction according to the sign convention, so positive. 700 is in the negative direction, so it would be minus 700. And if we calculate, we get the answer to be minus 450 Newton. So as this is minus, we can write summation of f of x is equal to 450 Newton in the negative direction. Then our next step is to find f of y. So second step is summation of f of y that is all the forces in y direction. So I have first is this force that is 500 sin 60 going to the downward direction so that is when negative that is 500 sin 60. Then I have this force that is 100, 1000. So that is also going in the downward direction, so 1000. Then I have this force which is also going vertically downward. So again minus 1, 2, 0, 0. So if I calculate, I get the answer to be 2, 6, 3, 3.01 negative Newton. So I can write this as 2633.01 Newton in the downward direction. Once we find f of x, f of y, I know that our next step would be to find the resultant force. So our third step is to find the resultant force. That is r is equal to under root of summation of f of x square plus summation of f of y square. So this would be f of x is 450 square plus f of y is 2633.01 square. So if we calculate it is 2671.18 Newton. This is our resultant. Then we should find at what angle, as this is a general force system, so resultant can be at some angle. So we should find the angle at which the resultant will act. So our angle theta is tan inverse of summation of f of y by summation of f of x. So if I calculate this, that is theta is equal to tan inverse of summation of f of y is 2633.01 divided by summation of f of x is 450. So we get theta to be 80.3 degrees. So I have resultant, I have theta. Then our, our next step is to find the moment. So as to find 
or find the point of application of this resultant force. So we will be finding moment about point O as we have to locate our resultant force about point O. So moment about point O. So here is the first force that is 500 cos 60 which is in line with O and it doesn't have any perpendicular distance with respect to O. So we'll con this force would become 0. Then the next one is 500 sin 60 which is from O here is the perpendicular distance to the force 500 sin 60 and also if you see the direction it is anti-clockwise so it would become positive this 500 sin 60 into the distance here is 300 mm then our next step our next uh, force is 1000 newton so 1000 newton is coming downwards and the perpendicular distance from o is this so this is also in the anti clockwise direction so it would be positive 1000 into 150 coming to uh, this force that is 1200 newton i have this force to be here and the perpendicular distance for the force would become this one or if you see this distance would become the perpendicular distance for this force. So when I have to find this distance now let this distance be x and I have this to be 60 degrees. So I have the adjacent side that I have to find and I already have the hypotenuse. So we can take it as cos 60 is equal to x upon 150. So the distance x would become 150 cos 60 and from O if you see this is going in the clockwise direction. So negative it would be 1 2 0 0 into the distance would become 150 cos 60. Similarly the next force here is 700. So I would take if I draw this triangle here this distance is the perpendicular distance for 700 Newton. So let this distance be y now. I have the hypotenuse, I have theta and we have to find the, ang the side which is opposite to 60 degree or theta. So it would become sin 60 equals to y by 300. So my distance y would become 300 sin 60 and this force is also in the anti-clockwise direction so positive that is 700 into 300 sin 60 if we calculate this we get the answer to be 371769.1 newton in the anti-clockwise direction so now we have to find the point of application of this resultant force. So according to sixth one is according to Varignan's theorem, we know that actually we have three formulas that is with respect to if we have to find the x intercept at x intercept where the resultant force will be intersecting at y intercept and a perpendicular distance. So here in the question it was not mentioned about which intercept or which, uh, which distance we have to find so we will find all the three distances. So the, our first is moment about a point of all the forces is equal to r into d or moment of the resultant force. So this would become moment is d equals to 371769.1 divided by our resultant is 2671.18. If I calculate this I would get my d to be 139.18 meter. Similarly to find, similarly to find 
the x intercept I have x is equal to moment about O for all the forces upon F summation of F of y. So, if I have calculated this I would uh, this is 371769.1 upon F of y is 2633.01 which would give me my x value to be 141.2 meters. Then my last value is y intercept that is equals to moment of all the forces about point O summation of f of x which is 371769.1 divided by 450. Now, whether we have got all the values here in negative, but while calculating the distances, they all are in the mod, uh, mod condition. So, if I calculate y, I would get my y distance to be 826.15 meters. So, I have my x, I have my d here and I have my y here. So, these are all the three distances from O where we can locate our resultant force, but they have not asked in the question to locate it exactly in the system. So, this is how we solve a problem on a general force system wherein we have to find the point of application, direction and magnitude for all the forces in the given in the force system. Thank you, hope you understood.